Hello and welcome to another Big Orbit Games unboxing video. I'm Chris and today I'll be opening up this wonderful Battle Bond box from uh, the new mini set from Wizards. So uh, let's just start cracking. So it all slides out nicely like so. A um, little bit of info on this insert as well. So Kind of same thing they did with Unstable recently, where uh, they had a you know a little bit about the set on the insert, um, how to kind of do things. I know they released this online as well, but it's kind of cool having it. Yeah, a nice card copy as well. Uh, and then we've got box topper, which is pretty pointless, and then the set itself. So that is what it looks like. So I am just going to start cracking boosters. Uh, apparently they have a nice easy open thing this time around. And they do indeed. Wow, that was easy. So pretty exciting set. Uh, so the idea of the set is you draft it a uh, two-headed giant. So team up with uh, another player and uh, build some cool, interesting decks that can kind of work together a little bit. So straight up, zombie token. Token at the front, a little bit strange. Oh well. Uh, got an island as well. Play of the game. Are these packs like backwards or something? That's pretty weird. Uh, so play of the game is the rare. That is really strange. I have no idea why they're, they're backwards. Um, so play of the game, eight mana, uh, white sorcery. Has assist, so another player can pay up to six of this spell's cost. So assist is a pretty cool mechanic from the set. Uh, where your teammate can help you. Uh, or if you want to team up in Commander and try and beat someone down, you can always, uh, you know, say like, uh, you know, pay this cost so we don't die to this other guy. And it is Exile All Non-Land Permanence, which is pretty nasty. Nice card to start off with. So we've got Slum Reaper, uh, Nimbus Champion, Yellen Sphinx, then a Raptor Companion, are they just reprinting everything from Ixalan? <laughs> um, assassinate, Expedition Raptor, Angelic Gift, Saddleback, Lakag, Magma Hellion, Frost Lynx, this is a cool reprint, uh, Charging Binox, Stone Golem, and Dragon Hatchling. And let's see if that was just a one off where everything was at the front like that, or if it's. No, it is. Okay, I guess we just. Do I go from the back? Do I go from the front? It kind of takes the, you know, it's a bit anticlimactic just seeing all of the, all the, the, the rares and stuff first. Uh, but anyway, Sickle Dancer, Rocks Brute, Tandem Tactics, Pathmaker Initiate, Jungle Wayfinder, Earth Elemental, Spellweaver Duo, Canopy Spider, Night Market Guard, and Battle Rampart. And I may have miscounted here. Let's find out. I did not. Cool. Uh, so, uh, Uncommons. Yeah, that was also uncommon. Um, although the rare was just there because I've I don't goofed and forgot that there's a land in the pack as well. Um, whatever. Let's put it to the back. So we've got Relentless Hunter, Battle Rattle Shaman, uh, Battle Mastery, and Corvath's Fury. So five mana red spell sorcery. Uh, for each player Choose a friend or foe. Each friend discards all cards from their hand and then draws that many cards plus one. Corvass Fury deals damage to each foe equal to the number of cards in their hand. Um, that's quite cool. And there's a lot of interesting commander decks that will make use of this. So that's the thing. A lot of these cards are pretty much just going to go straight into commander decks. Let's just do it how it comes in the pack. So we've got the Zombie Giant token. That's actually quite nice. Uh, mountain. We have Vigor. Nice. I was actually looking at this card earlier, and uh, cause I was like, eh, probably put that in my uh, commander deck. So three green and three for an elemental incarnation creature, which is a six six with trample. If damage would be dealt to another creature you control, prevent that damage. Put a plus one plus one counter on that creature for each one damage prevented this way. And when Vigor is put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into its owner's library. So it's a cool little defense mechanic. They have to deal with this before they can deal with the rest of your creatures uh, if they're using damaging effects. But also you can even play your own damaging effects, like deal one to all creatures or something like that. 
uh, just to put plus one plus one counters on yours while still damaging your opponents. So I think it's quite cool. Got swarm of blood flies, opportunity, uh, rush blade commander, and then a grotesque mutation, or a champion, uh, dwarven lightsmith, fill with fright, eager construct, bulrush bruiser, totally lost. Hey, Flibth is back. Um, return to the Earth, Tyrant's Machine, and Call it to Heal. Spirit Token, got Forest, and Diabolic Intent. So as an additional cost to cast this, sacrifice a creature. Cost two otherwise. Uh, search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. So, just Diabolic Tutor, but with actually putting it into your hand and, and like sacrificing a creature. I mean, it, I guess um, Diabolic Tutor is the... Did I say Demonic or Diabolic earlier? I meant Diabolic Tutor is, is kind of like comparable where it would be four mana to do the same uh, without the sacrifice effect. So. Uh, Dragon Breath, Juggernaut, Savage, Ventimore. And then we've got Rebuke, Watercourser, Liturgy of Blood, Midnight Guard, Seer's Lantern, Reckless Reveler. Krollhelm Guide, Daggermax Basilisk, Dagger Dome, Imp, and Consulate Skygate. There's already like quite a cool range of cards here. From like various reprints from just completely different sets. Um, that all kind of have this theme of having the, the two player uh, thing going on. So, um, 8 mana, so 3 of it red for an elemental creature, 7-7. Seven, seven. At the beginning of each upkeep, Magma Force deals 3 damage to any target. Uh, that's alright, I guess. Nothing to write home about, but pretty good. Uh, i got Blaring Recruiter, Blaring Captain. These just... <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so they partner uh, with each other, and they're in the same pack. That's quite cool. I'm not sure if that's on purpose, or if that is just a complete accident that they are, that both partners are in the same pack. Um, but partner is back, so it's like the same as it was in Commander 2016, but there's also like a couple of additional things that you can do with it as well. Uh, so this is when this creature enters the battlefield, target player may put Blaring Recruiter into their hand from their library and then shuffle. So this basically tutors for either of them, depending on which one you play first. Uh, so when Blaring Captain attacks, attacking warriors get plus one, plus one to end the turn, and you can pay three and create a one, one white warrior creature token. So just getting all your warriors out, playing a nice, uh, white black kind of weedy deck there and you got a Rescos Explorer you got Hand of Solengar, Kite Sail Corsair Royal Trooper, fan favourite this is quite a cool one so 4 mana 2-2 two, two, human rogue with assist so fan favourite gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn any player can activate this ability so uh, some quite cool interactions with this would be if there's if someone casts you know like destroy all creatures with power 3 or greater uh, they can pay the two to pump this to then kill it with their spell. It seems a bit pointless, but you know, um, just a bit of a cool interaction. Centaur Healer. Oh, also, if someone attacks you and they're about to win the game or something because of some reason um, and you're tapped out, someone else within your game can pay it. It doesn't have to be your teammate, it can be any player. Uh, Centaur Healer, Stadium Vendors. Nimbus of the Isle, Elvish Visionary, Lightning Talons, and Hexplate Golem. Another zombie, another planes, a grotesque mutation in foil. Yeah, just have a foil thing. Uh, and a land, which this is one of the kind of chase ish cards, I guess you could say, from this set. Um, so this land cycle is um, well, commander lands, I would say. So Seer Clouds enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. So if you're playing a multiplayer game, it just becomes like a, a straight up dual land um, that does not come in tapped, which is great. So those would be very sought after, I think, because a lot of people do play uh, multiplayer commander in the paper version. Uh, Plated Crusher, Tavern Swindler, Enthralling Victor. And we've got Pacifism, 
Painful Lesson, Shock, Combo Attack, Borderland Marauder, Omen Speaker, Giant Growth, Sparring Mummy, and Millennial Gargoyle. Warrior, Swamp, and Appear, Imaginative Rascal. I do love this card. Um, again, I want to build a deck around it. So, three mana, uh, legendary creature. He is a human, uh, and a 1 1. And it partners with Toothy, imaginary friend. Um, and when one enters the battlefield, you tutor for the other. So, if one or more counters we put on a permanent, your team controls that many plus one of each of those counters, I put on that permanent instead. And Toothy is in the pack, so yeah, this is a, a purposeful thing with uh, the partnered people being in the same pack. So, um, double rare in a pack as well, that's kind of cool. So when Toothy uh, enters, he tutors for Peer, and uh, so 4 mana 1-1, one, one. Illusion. Uh, when you draw a card, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Toothy, and when Toothy leaves the battlefield, draw a card for each plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Um, yeah. So Peer basically gets loads of plus one plus one counters on Toothy, and then Toothy draws a bunch of cards. Um, yeah. They work very well together. Uh, then we've got Peregrine Drake, Unflinching Courage, Doomed Traveller. Oh, you get one fewer um, uncommon in the pack if you get a double rare. Uh, so Doomed Traveller, Rock Feast of Maggot, August Spree, Shoulder to Shoulder. Ember Beast, Sky Shroud Claim, Negate, Fertile Ground, Cow Prowler, and Yotian Soldier. So we've got a Beast, a Mountain, Greater Good. It's for the Greater Good. Four Mana Enchantment, Sack a Creature, draw cards equal to the Sacrifice Creature's power, then discard three cards. Um, great if your massive creature is about to get killed. And you just sack it to this instead and draw some cards. And then obviously discard some cards, which you're probably playing green black at this stage with a card like this. So you just get them all back from the graveyard. Works quite well. I like it. Uh, Soul Blade Corruptor, Soul Blade Renewer, so another partnered, um, partnered set, I guess. Uh, so both five mana. We've got a Human Warrior and an Elf Warrior. And uh, these ones. Yeah, also tutor for for each other. Uh, so when Soul Blade Renewer enters the battlefield, support two. So put a plus one plus one counter on each of the two other target creatures. And the Soul Blade Corruptor is a three three with Death Touch. Whenever a creature with a plus one plus one counter on it attacks one of your opponents, that creature gains Death Touch until the end of turn. So a nice way of getting a bunch of counters on and then Death Touching your way through, um, which is quite cool. So Quest for the Grave Lord. Eyeblade Assassin, Lightwalker, Doom Dissenter, Thunderstrike, Azra Blade Seeker, Saltwater, Stalwart, uh, Crawl Warrior, Impulse, Prakata Club Security, and Peace Strider. I probably mispronounced a few of those there, but magic names are hard. It's got a Mirror Token, yay, Mirror's Attack. Island, ooh, nice. Foily, foily, true name nemesis. Awesome. So three mana, three one, merfolk rogue. When it enters, choose a player, and he has protection from chosen player. Uh, that does look really nice in foil. Awesome, and first mythic. Then we've got uh, Thrilling Encore, which is a rare in a pack. So five mana instant, put onto the battlefield under your control all creature cards in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. That's pretty nasty if you, I don't know, there's that wonderful card called Last Man Standing, I believe, uh, which if you play Hearthstone is basically Brawl. Um, or if you do any board wipe, like any cheapy cheap board wipe, and you've got the spare mana to do this. I know, Bontu's Last Reckoning <laughs> uh, for three mana and then bring them all back. That'd be pretty funny. Unless Bontu's Last Reckoning exiles, I can't remember. Um, Karametra's favour, Swords to Plowshares is back, yay. <laughs> Sarcasm, obviously. Uh, Trumpet Blast, Champion of Arishin, Claustrophobia, Bloodborne Scoundrels, Saddleback, Black Hag, Rapid Flames, Charging Rhino, Spellweaver Duo, uh, Benefic Giant, Stone Golem. 
Oh, what is it with easy open packs not being that easy to open? <laughs> Mounting a foil wrap in flames. Looks quite nice. Uh, Spire Garden, so the green red. Um, Commander Land, I, I don't know what we're calling them. I'm going with Commander Land. They probably already exist as Commander Lands, but whatever. In this video, they're Commander Lands. I've got Fumble, uh, Crowd Goes Wild, uh, an Enduring Scale Lord. Then Rock's Brute, Wrap the Companions, Fill with Fright, Seer's Lantern, Rack of Flames, Return to the Earth, Omen Speaker, Battle Rampart, Consulate Sky Heat. I am just flicking through the comments very, very quickly because I don't want this video to last forever. So, Warrior, Island, Mangara of Corondor. So, three mana, uh, legendary human wizard. Um, she's a 1 1, and you can tap her, exile her, and exile target permanent as well. Um, sure. Yeah. Removal? I guess. Yeah. I'm sure there's people are brewing crazy, crazy things where you cast stuff from exile and blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, please feel free to, you know, let me know any of those strategies. Um, I personally can't see a massive use for it off the top of my head. Uh, I got Pacifism, Dwarven, I, 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 do I need to read these anymore? Stadium Vendors, Daggerback Basilisk, Coral Helm Guide, uh, Benthic Giant, and Millennial Gargoyle. I was still at a little bit of a loss about this, so that that's got confused there for a second. Nice. Uh, Najila, the Blade Blossom. Three mana, legendary human warrior. She's a 3-2, and it is mythic, which is nice. Uh, so whenever a warrior attacks, you may have its controller create a 1-1 one, one warrior creature token that's tapped and attacking. Uh, you can pay one of everything, untap all attacking creatures, they gain trample, lifelink, and haste until end of turn. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Activate this only during combat. So quite nice, you can't have her as the commander if you want to pay for all of that. But good as one of your 99, I guess. Um, it's a shame you, you can't play this in like normal brawl as well, because that would be pretty funny um, with some of the stuff that goes on in brawl. But yeah, I mean, play it with Anima, maybe. Um, Anima Warriors, that's a thing, right? Sure. Let's put the Mythics there. Uh, we've got Chakram Retriever and uh, Chakram Slinger, two partnered cards there. Um, Blue Doggo looks, looks very cute and uh, is retrieving that Chakram very well. He's a good doggo. Um, yeah, and basically they cheat for each other. Uh, whenever you cast a spell during your turn, untap target creature from the Retriever. He's a 2-4. And the Slinger is also 2-4, but you can pay a red and it deals 2 damage to target player or Planeswalker. So, they, I, mean, they, I suppose in the, the deck archetype you can be playing, they work well, but they don't necessarily... There's not that much synergy between the two cards themselves. But never mind. Uh, Hunted Wampus, we've got Rebuke, Midnight Guard, fan favourite, Cutsail Corsair, Urbo Drake, Borderland Marauder, Giant Growth, Nymphs of the Isle, Lightning Talons, and Hexplate Golem. A Warrior, Plains, and yeah, Nizathid. I guess that's how you pronounce that, Nizathid. Um, three mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Seems good. Uh, it's an elemental. As it enters the battlefield, choose an opponent, and it gets minus one, minus one for each card in the chosen player's hand. So choose the aggro player who's ditching their hand every turn and hope they can't refill it. Um, never choose the person that has Reliquary Tower out. Pro tip. Uh, but other than that, that's really good early game. <laughs> um, gang up, Phantom Warrior, and Aim High are the uncommons. Then we've got Royal Trooper, Eyeblade Assassin, Light Walker, Centaur Healer, Thunderstrike, Fertile Ground, Impulse, Elvish Visionary, Sparring Mummy, and Yotian Soldier. So, Spirit, a Forest, bonus round. So, three mana sorcery. Until the end of the turn, whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, that player copies it and may choose new targets for the copy. That is pretty awesome. Um, not necessarily power level wise, but that's going to create some hilarious games. Um, 
which is what Commander is all about. It's what Two Headed Giant is all about. So yeah, should be good. We've got Noxious, Noxious Dragon, Chain Lightning, Step Glider, Water Corsa, Screeching Buzzard, Doom Traveler, Rock Piece Maggot, Riptide Crab, Azra Blade Seeker, Negate, Charging Rhino, Precarta Club Sentry, and Expedite. Warrior Token, Mountain, and Sentinel Tower. So, four mana artifact. Whenever an instant or sorcery spell is cast during a turn, Sentinel Tower deals damage to any target equal to one plus the number of instant and sorcery spells cast before that spell this turn. So, every time you cast something, it increases the damage by one and triggers damage. Um, I mean, great if you can keep refilling your hand. Uh, I'm sure there are some ar archetypes that can utilize this. Uh, to really ping away at your opponent, but I mean, not too bad. But Veteran Explorer, Fog Bank, Din Rover Horror, then Shock, Shoulder to Shoulder, Doom Dissenter, Sky Streamer, Bathing Dragonfire, Saddleback, Ember Beast, Huddle Up, Charging Binox, and Pierce Strider. That's the last couple of packs on that row. Another Mer token, Plains, Wars Toll, so four mana enchantment. When an opponent, eh, start that again. When an opponent taps a land for mana, tap all lands that player controls. If a player, if a player, if a creature, <laughs> I can't read today. If a creature an opponent controls attacks, all creatures that opponent controls attack if able. That is pretty interesting, actually. Um, it just forces them, like your opponent, to, to play. A completely different game um, because they're they're just not going to tap and they're just not going to attack with anything. So, or if they do, they have to attack with everything. I mean, it, it's kind of cool. It's almost like red has become blue, um, forcing your opponent to play how they don't want to play. Uh, Spectral Searchlight, Pulse of Marassa, Switcheroo, Last Gasp, Sickle Dancer, Tandem Tactics, Aura Champion, Sky Shroud Claim, Reckless Reveler. Spellweaver Duo, Return to Earth, Kraken Hatchling, and Night Market Guard. We've got a Zombie, a Swamp, Vitrus the Veiled. So he partners with Grom the Great. So green black. Um, so Vitrus is a three mana legendary assassin. He's a 1 1. Um, when he enters, you can search for Gorm. And when Gorm enters, you can search for Vitrus. So Vitrus has Death Touch, and whenever Vitrus deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half their life rounded up. And Gorm has Vigilance. He's a 2 7 before. Weird stats, but interesting. Um, Gorm must be blocked if able, and Gorm must be blocked by two or more creatures if able. So, yeah, Gorm gets in there and I do love the fact that the artwork is taken from either side of, of yeah that's cool um, so yeah you you swing in with both Gorm soaks up all the damage well so, soaks up all the blockers and then Vitrus just hits your opponent for like 20 if they're still on 40 interesting so Assassin's Strike Beast Within and then we've got Champion of Arishin Shambling Ghoul August Bree Silver Chase Fox Eagle Construct Pathmaker Initiate, Stalwart Stalwart, Saltwater Stalwart, not Stalwart Stalwart, definitely Saltwater Stalwart. Lead by example, Call to Heal and Peace Strider. Alright, we're getting there. So Warrior, Island, Foil, Coral Helm Guide. Foiling's a bit weird on those, but kind of nice. Apocalypse Hydra, nice. So green, red and X. Apocalypse Hydra enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. If X is five or more, it enters the battlefield with an additional X plus one plus one counters on it. That's pretty sick. Um, pay a red and one, remove a plus one plus one counter from it, and it deals one damage to any target. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of good. <laughs> um, this will definitely go in any sort of big rampy red rain deck. Nice. Uh, Solemn Offering, Azra Oddmaker, Cheering Fanatic. 
And we've got Bloodborne Scoundrels, Claustrophobia, Angelic Gift, Herbal Drake, Magma Hellion, Frostlinks, Crawl Warrior, Cow Prowler, Stone Golem. Uh, Bountiful Promenade is the uh, Commander Land, let's call it that again. Uh, the green white version. Quite nice artwork. Got Fumble, Veteran Explorer, Loyal Pegasus, then Aurora Champion, Sickle Dancer, Silver Chase Fox, Bathing Dragonfire, Wandering Wolf, Magma Hellion, Charging Vinox, Soaring Show Off, Expedite, and Kraken Hatchling. We have an emblem. I really can't remember the Planeswalkers' names. Um, one of them's red, one of them's blue. Yeah, can't remember the names. I'm awful. Uh, but whenever you cast an it, all sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. Uh, that is a good emblem to have. Uh, got some token pile. Then Arena Rector. This is a really interesting card, actually. So a mythic. Um, it's a four mana one two. When it dies, you may exile it. If you do, search your library for a Planeswalker card, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. Um, I can see this going in Super Friends, and you playing something that get copies of this so that when you sack it you you just get loads more super frenzy planeswalkers and then you just win more um i think this is gonna be a really really good card so in a demon the crowd goes wild baldwear intimidator screeching buzzard tandem tactic shambling ghoul sky streamer reckless reveler jungle wayfinder primal hunt beast totally lost Pierce Strider and Dragon Hashling. Zombie Swamp. Uh, Mystic Confluence. So five mana instant. Choose three. You may choose the same mode more than once. So counter target spell unless it's control of page three. Return target creature to its owner's hand and draw a card. So I mean five mana draw three. Isn't bad, I guess. Um counter a spell and draw two is really good um, bouncing three things is also pretty good especially you know if that helps you swing in for lethal or I don't know their tokens that you're bouncing so yeah good cards just because of the flexibility um, and it is a rare yeah. so as rods make a hunted wampus noxious dragon Assassinate, Angelic Gift, Last Gasp, Grotesque Mutation, Pathmaker Initiate, Eager Construct, Return to the Earth, Huddle Up, Tyrant's Machine, and Dagger Drone Imp. Warrior, an Island, Guafa, Hazid Profiteer. So, one, a white and a blue for a legendary human rogue that is a 2 2. You pay a white and a blue and tap him, put a bribery counter on Tiger Creature you don't control, its controller draws a card. Creatures with bribery counters on them can't attack or block. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty good in the whole lockdown style of white-blue. Uh, can't see it being massively powerful, because you've already got things that you know make your opponent pay to attack you and stuff like that. So um, this seems in the same sort of vein, but also gives them the benefit of drawing a card, and uh, you, you don't want to give people cards. It's not bad, but, you know, there's probably better things out there. Uh, Phantom Warrior, Jubilant Mascot, Chain Lightning, Expedition Raptor, Hand of Southern Guard, Rocks Brute, Borish Bruiser, Combo Attack, Lead by Example, Karahom Guy, Canopy Spider, Call to Heal, Night Market Guard. I'm pretty sure we've seen all of the commons now. I think from next pack onwards, I am just going to skip them. Or at least just show you the pictures. Uh, you've got Spirit, a Mountain, a Morphic Pool, so uh, blue, black, Commander Land. Got Gang Up, Aim High, and Enduring Scale Lord. Then uh, all of these as cards. Yay. Yeah, we, we've seen all of those. That's fine. Got Beast, a Plains, a Foil Shock. And. Uh, I'm just going to knock that pile over because stupidly I put the foils next to the largest pile. Uh, together forever, two white for an enchantment. When together forever enters the battlefield, support two. Uh, you can pay one, choose a target creature with a counter on it. When that creature dies, 
uh, this turn, return that card to its owner's hand. Um, that is pretty nice, actually. Uh, especially in like a green-white token plus one plus one counter kind of strategy. Uh, I think it's actually a very nice card. Uh, Chakram Retriever and Chakram Slinger, and then Fog Bank, and then uh, all of these wonderful commons. Uh, zombie, Forest, Dragon Breath in foil, looks quite nice. And Grothama, the All Devouring. So, five mana um, legendary worm creature. He is mythic, and a 10-8. So other creatures have. Whenever this creature attacks, you may have it fight Grothama or Devouring. When Grothama leaves the battlefield, each player draws cards equal to the amount of damage dealt to Grothama this turn by sources they controlled. Um, that's pretty hilarious. So you use him as a 5-mana 10-10, and then your opponents can try and dump their hands uh, to try and kill him off by fighting him, but they're obviously losing their cards because he's a 10-8, so everything that the fight he fights is getting dealt 10 damage. But then they get to draw cards, so it's actually a really, really interesting card. Um, I really like the design of this one. And yeah, it's it's just fun. Step Glider, Din Rover Horror, Beast Within, and then all of the commons. Got a warrior token, swamp, mind blade, render, so one and a black. For a 1-3 warrior, whenever your opponents are dealt combat damage, if any of that damage was dealt by a warrior, you draw a card and you lose one life. Uh, so it seems like they're pushing uh, white-black warriors, which is kind of interesting. Um, normally it's kind of like white black vampires or anything else other than warriors but that's kind of cool and the effect's quite nice for a, a two mana creature um, just constant card draw so yeah, pretty cool Assassin's Strike, Dream Fanatic, bring it down and then our commons Token, an Island, and Corvath Bright Flame. So he partners with Sylvia Brightspear. Uh, these two, I actually really like these two. So Corvath is six mana, three, four, uh, with flying in haste. Knights, your team controls have flying in haste. That's pretty awesome. And Sylvia Brightspear is a three mana, two, two, uh, and has double strike. And Dragons, your team controls have double strike. So getting these two out, Remember, you only need to pull one of them because they chew it for the other one. And yeah, that's just a cool effect. Um, play a Dragon Knight's deck. It's just. Sounds like a fun kind of archetype, to be honest. Um, obviously, more creature based than a lot of them. But... Just seems good. Got a Warrior, got a Forest. And a game plan. So six mana with uh, sorcery with assist. So another pay player can pay any of the colorless mana. Each player shuffles their hand and a graveyard into their library, then draws seven cards, and then you exile a game plan. So just, you know, reset the game almost. Pretty good. Age of the Retribution, Thrasher Brute, and Feral Hydra. And our commons. Spirit Token, Mountain, and Doubling Season, one of the chase cards from the set. So, uh, yeah, it's finally getting a reprint, or finally has a reprint, I should say, um, which was very, very needed. The price of this card is, is ridiculously high, and it's purely because of Commander. So, five mana enchantment, if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. If an effect would put uh, one or more counters on a permanent you control, it puts twice that many of those counters on that permanent instead. Uh, bear in mind, Commander Anthology 2 just came out, and it has the Attraxa deck in it, 
and uh, yeah, this goes in that. <laughs> um, I mean, it's just a solid card. Uh, any kind of token strategy, any kind of counter strategy, you kind of want doubling season. It just fits in. So awesome. Uh, Blaze, Culling Dias, and Morbid Curiosity, and all of these lovely commons. So, quite nice that we got a doubling season from that. Overall, it's been pretty good, uh, good box, to be honest. Uh, Magus of the Candelabra. So, one green for a 1-2. That's already great. Um, Human Wizard. Uh, pay X and tap him to untap X target lands. So, yeah, I mean, you can use your mana dorks to untap your lands, basically. Or if you've got a land that generates multiple mana, you basically use this to untap that and use it again. And, yeah, it's basically, I'm sure, some kind of like combo that, that just generates infinite mana will come out of that um, because there are already effects similar to that as well. Uh, warrior and a forest, We've got a seedborn muse. So five mana, two, four, untap all permanents you control during each other player's untap step. That's just awesome. Um, yeah, just keep untapping. And it's in creature form. So it's slightly easier to kill off, but, you know, it's just good. Um, take bombs for Tillid and Reckless Scholar. Then commons. And when I say what you use, it's good. It's actually very, very good. Uh, Beast, Plains, Unflinching Courage in Foil. Uh, last one standing, not last man standing. I apologise for the earlier comment in the video. Uh, it is last one standing, which is basically Brawl in Hearthstone. So I've worn a black and a red, choose a creature at random, then destroy the rest. So as if they've just had a massive brawl <laughs> in the middle of the arena and uh, this little goblin comes out on top, which is awesome. I do like this card. It probably will go in my deck. Uh, Layweaver, Lawweaver. Uh, did we talk about these ones already? Don't think so. Um, so both four mana, both shoot each other up when you play them. And one's a four mana two two, in fact they're both four mana two twos. Uh, for a human wizard and a human druid. Green one, uh, tap it to untap two target lands. The blue one, pay seven, target player draws two cards. Not the greatest, but you know. Can't complain, I guess. Tenacious Dead. And, uh... Commons. I am aware that that was slightly out of camera shot. Uh, for, for that last pack. So, sorry. Uh, Luxury Sweet. Does this mean we've had all five of them? I believe it does. So this is the Arakdos. Commander Land. Uh, Lava Fiend Overlord. Vampire Charm Seeker. And Gold Forged Sentinel. And commons. So this box has been pretty solid, to be honest. We've had one of every land, I think. Doubling season. Foil, um, true name nemesis as well. Angelic chorus. So five mana enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to its toughness. But there's going to be strategies that utilize that and just gain more life than you can possibly imagine. Um, so, quite good. Uh, Flame Wake Invoker, Kiss of the Amisha, and Decorated Champion, and Commons. Last couple of packs. We've got Myrrh, a Mountain, and Zinsprit, uh, Eye of Wisdom. He partners with Macorn, Eye of Chaos. So, um, two heads of a uh, Cyclops thingy. Well, you got a homunculus and a Cyclops berserker. Oh, he sits on his shoulder. Never mind. Um, so, they partner again. When it enters, you can, you know, tutor. That's the word I'm looking for. So, 
Zindersplit is uh, 5 mana, 1, 4. At the beginning of combat on your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, draw a card. Fair enough. Card draw for a coin flip, not bad. And uh, when a corn, I have chaos. Um, at the beginning, I'll just start this again. So he's a five mana three three. He's a Cyclops Berserker. He partners with Zindersplit. Uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, flip a coin until you lose a flip. Whenever a player wins a coin flip, double a corn's power and toughness until end of turn. So basically, try and win as many coin flips as you can. Draw a bunch of cards and just keep doubling up a corn. So you know he can eventually just be massive. Um, win one flip, he's a six six. Win two, he's a twelve twelve. 24-24, so on and so on. Um, these could be quite cool, actually. Uh, Long Road Home and Oracle's Insight. Then uh, all of these commons. And then the last pack. And then we'll just have a quick flick through what we've got. So we've got a Spirit and a Forest. We've got a Charging Rhino in Foil. And a Mycosynth Lattice which is another mythic, wow. Uh, so six mana artifact, all permanents are artifacts in addition to their other types. All cards that aren't on the battlefield, spells and permanents are colorless. Players may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. That is just hilarious in Commander. Um, yeah, this is gonna be, there's gonna be someone who, who just uses this card and just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, I'm just thinking of all, like some of the scenarios where this is just going to be annoying or hilarious or just very beneficial. I, I don't know yet. Someone's going to play it, put it that way, if not multiple people in the deck. You will see this card. <laughs> um, Blood Feud, Genesis Chamber, and Out Bounds, and those are the commons. See, so yeah, overall, like the set, it, it seems really fun. Um, I'm hoping to draft it this weekend uh, in Two Headed Giant, so I'll see how it plays out. Apparently it works quite well, uh, although I haven't had a chance yet. Um, but no, the, like, the, the whole party mechanic coming back is really nice. Um, you get a bunch of rares in the box just because of all the partnered rares as well. Um, and just some of the rares seem just really powerful um, for their effect. And, you know, six mythics in the box as well. So we've got... Those five, that's awesome. The arena wreck is really good. And then the uh, the one in foil as well, wherever he's gone, shooting Nemesis. So that was quite a nice bonus. Um, yeah, so overall, it's a really nice set. Um, definitely try and draft it if you can, because that's what it's for, really. And then, obviously, you can pick up the singles on our website, uh, which is bigorbitcards.co.uk. You can buy and sell all the cards you've seen in the video, and uh, plus everything else from this set, and uh, really flesh out your commander decks. So thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.